I'm Ashton Addison from Event Chain for Investment Pitch Media and FinTech News Network. And today on Blockchain Interviews, we have Gothaman or Gothaman, or G-Man, the CEO of Achilles. G-Man, welcome to the show. It's a pleasure to have you here today. Thank you, Ashton. Pleasure as well to speaking to you today. You're very welcome. I'd love to kick off the interview by starting with a little bit of background on what you and your team are working on right now on Achilles. Right. These are exciting times, Ashton. So when Achilles was set up nine months back, uh, we, we positioned ourselves as the first blockchain-based technology company for the marketing industry. Mm -hmm. So typically, when everybody talks about uh, uh, blockchain companies, uh, you, you immediately go towards Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. But Achilles is positioned as uh, the first of its kind, a full suit company for the marketing industry. Okay? Uh, and uh, that our timing couldn't have been uh, better than uh, uh, any time ever before. Uh, uh, just six months back when Google pulled the plug on cookies and the world uh, is now reeling towards uh, privacy-oriented advertising and marketing communications. Mm -hmm. uh, and the industry is grappling with very many solutions. Uh, we believe we have a fantastic and the right solution for the industry. So that's what is keeping Achilles uh, uh, in the front right now. And uh, we are now championing the cause of uh, uh, safe and secure open web. Uh, that's, that's good to be at mm -hmm. this point in time. It's very cool. And yeah, marketing solutions powered by blockchain are definitely going to be needed. And there is a lot of benefits that we can dive right. into. Uh, and especially in the case of Achilles, you've utilized the Zilliqa blockchain protocol uh, right. to build on top of. Now, can you talk a little bit about you know, what did you see in the Zilliqa blockchain that made you want that protocol to yeah. power the marketing solution? Sure. Thanks, Ashton. So before this, uh, this job, I was in WPP uh, and I was leading the initiative uh, on evaluating blockchain solutions. And that other time I was working with Zilliqa directly. Uh, and the, the key thing that attracted or uh, allowed us to consider Zilliqa is the fact that it's got a sharding technology, uh, which, uh, which, is, which was then considered as a pioneer, uh, pioneering initiative considering amongst other blockchain platforms. Uh, but in the last one and a half, two years time, Zilliqa has really pushed it along, keeping the heads down and making the technology work very well. So today, uh, Zilliqa is, uh, is leveraging this tool to to provide scalable solutions. So mm -hmm. uh, as the node in expands, the ability to scale uh, expands faster and larger, which is very important for the marketing industry. It's not like any other industry where you can deal with uh, 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 smaller uh, 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 nodes or, uh, or, a, or a finite number of people because we're dealing with billions of impressions. Mm -hmm. So we need a technological platform that can scale up faster. Uh, and equally, uh, we are very happy with uh, the, the smart contracting language, Scylla, which is safe mm -hmm. and fast and secure. So uh, Zilliqa provides us both scalability and security, uh, which we can comfortably say that we can offer this to the marketing industry because uh, marketing is, is B2B to C. And it's mm -hmm. not just B2B or B2C. Yeah. So we need to sort out some of these things in between. So yeah, so uh, we, we love Zilliqa. And, and if you look at it, Achilles is the reverse of Zilliqa. So uh, we, are, uh, we are very close to uh, working together on many of the technology innovations mm -hmm. with them. Yep, that's yeah. it. So it's in a good position, yeah. Yeah, no, the, the blockchain platform, we had them on the show last year, and it seems like the technology is so promising. And you're right about the sharding, having that level of scalability. It was sort of the first, you know, first to market in terms of uh, having that, innovative technology to allow us to get to global adoption uh, where everyone can use the network at the same time. So I think that was a good choice. And the, you know, the situation right now inside of the blockchain industry on the marketing side is really interesting. There's definitely a few companies that are doing a really good job with marketing, but there's a lot more companies and startups that mm -hmm. Uh, are not doing as well uh, because maybe in part because blockchain seems technical and there's a lot of developers uh, that are trying to produce products for the mainstream. Can you talk a little bit about how you see the ecosystem of blockchain companies right now and if they're doing a good job with marketing? Sure. So uh, uh, I think it is good to have uh, uh, category discussions on the applications of blockchain uh, uh, in the marketing industry. But where we want to be different from others is uh, we do not want to be a yet another point solution 
trying to solve a part of the problem because today there are lots of companies uh, mm-hmm. who are trying to say i'm going to solve transparency i'm going to solve identity i'm going to solve supply chain and it is it's all becoming another bunch of uh, bandaids uh, <laughs> uh, whereas the blockchain is supposed to solve uh, for the entire system by by nature of being an universal technology right mm-hmm. so we believe uh, blockchain is uh, is is supposed to be the layer on top of the internet today if internet is already decentralized blockchain provides another layer of trust and transparency and then we just cannot be picking up one or two pillars in between we have to be the connecting mm-hmm. tissue so we are different from other blockchain companies and perhaps that's what is giving us more traction today mm-hmm. so our solution is to bring uh, unify the fragmented technologies to one uh, common platform Mm-hmm. so uh, uh, achilles uh, and our engine is all about ingesting multiple sources of data standardize them use the smart contract to reconcile uh, data sets uh, and put it on an immutable ledger for further action if you have mm-hmm. to say in simple english so we are uh, we are a very unique different uh, blockchain solutions company for marketing industry uh, and the short answer is we are not at another point solution we are the tissue uh, mm-hmm. for the for the that yeah. yeah well one of the major topics with regards to marketing more recently has been privacy you know and having right. there's personalization of advertisements for people but at the same time respecting their personal information uh, so that you know we're not using turning them into the customer can you talk yeah. about the privacy and the blockchain solutions that Achilles has yeah a uh, very good question thanks for this because it's that's it, that's what we are discussing today uh, uh, and our product is being built for that in the world beyond cookies uh, uh, the open web as we speak today is under threat because uh, uh, it is now going to be dependent on first party data which is where the privacy comes into picture mm-hmm. today whether it is gdpr or ccpa or any such regulations uh, insist on consent management as the main pillar for privacy uh, uh, and and companies are now trying to build their own consent management platforms to ensure that uh, they are compliant with these regulations which is the first pillar of privacy having said that when a particular data is being used for action or let's say for advertising or any other marketing communication these regulations also insist or uh, or uh, or decry that the provenance of that needs to be maintained as well what have i done with the data okay. so we are not talking about consent management mm-hmm. and the provenance management of what's been done with the data which is the crux of the privacy challenge today okay. mm-hmm. and and the reason why blockchain becomes very important is that when more than two companies are exchanging information uh, uh, then you need a decentralized independent body to maintain the ledger because neither of them can own it because if any one of them own it then it becomes centralized with one versus the other and there's no trust so it is imperative that in the future when companies are going to share data mm-hmm. in compliance with the regulations there needs to be a decentralized authority which manages the consent and the provenance ledger mm-hmm. which is what we believe uh, as the fundamental reason uh, uh, for our existence so our mm-hmm. uh, product which is now ready to roll out and there is some good traction with the clients exactly provides this solution mm-hmm. we provide the consent and provenance management for the participants so that activity is maintained and recorded in a, in, a, in an immutable ledger mhm so that's very interesting and that sort of leads into the data transparency having like communication of specific data between companies and and data automation do you tie right. all of that to, into the platform as well that's right so our pro- our proposition is very very uh, uh, simple and clear that we be- we say we tell the enterprises that data will not leave the native location we do not tell the tell any one of them to give me your data i'm going to put it in a cloud and i'm going to do something with mm-hmm. it it remains with them we have our own federated query which queries the data from the location and only the query is managed for activation so we are very safe and secure in our architecture Uh, uh, and that helps us in managing the campaigns very very uh, efficiently and in a safe and secure manner so to answer to your question yes our our engine takes care of ingestion and querying and activation mhm very cool 
Now, I'm curious how else you see machine learning and, and blockchain changing the landscape of digital marketing in the present right now and in the future? Good question, yeah. So I, I would like to see this entire uh, future as uh, pre-cookie and post-cookie okay? mm -hmm. for ease of uh, uh, life because there is going to be a next 18 months time which I would probably call it as a pre-cookie world. Uh, and uh, there is uh, uh, there is a state of denial with some companies, but some of them are getting ready for the post cookie world. So th there is a lot of coexistence, and there is cacophony. I have to use the word. Uh, if I have to use a hard word for this. So there are many solutions that's being tried and tested. Uh, but I believe uh, the post cookie world will have uh, many of these things done and dusted, and you'll have to probably have three or four solutions that's going to be applicable for uh, uh, enterprise deployment at scale. And uh, which is where the proverbial cookie crumbles today, Ashton. So uh, I see the next 18 months time, many companies trying to do many things. Mm -hmm. uh, and we should try, uh, we should experiment with, with what's, uh, what's coming at play. Uh, but keep an eye on what can be commercialized and made uh, scalable for a post cookie world. And we really don't know how the die is going to fall uh, when, uh, when Jan 2022 happens. But we are now getting ready for the world beyond uh, uh, beyond the world of uh, cookies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's really funny. I haven't heard that you know the pre cookie and the post cookie world before, but uh, it's I see that's the trend in which we're moving into. Now, I guess if you, do you have any tips for startups or corporations that are looking at moving into the post cookie world and how they can prepare themselves for that? Yes, yes. If the if the tips are, are for startups in our industry, uh, uh, I would say uh, uh, don't forget to try. Uh, try as much as uh, uh, as it's possible, but at the same time, find mutually complementary partners to work with. Because blockchain is a team sport. It's not going to happen if you're going to go into a garage and sit and invent yourself. Because it's not going to work till you bring people together. Mm -hmm. Bringing building a very usable ecosystem is equally important for uh, for uh, for the success of blockchain. So find your partners, find your ecosystem, and build a prototype as early as possible. Uh, and and then deal with principal pairs, which means uh, whether it's a marketer or an advertiser, work with him to create a prototype. Mm -hmm. That's my uh, that's my advice. Good advice. And if there are any corporations that are interested in learning more about blockchain-based marketing solutions or Achilles, what's the best way for them to learn more and to reach out? Yeah, they can reach out to us, uh, 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 gautaman at achilles.com. Uh, that's, uh, that's my personal or official mail address. Uh, but they can always log into our website and reach out to us. Uh, we're more than happy and keen to work with them. Uh, we are already engaging with uh, 8 to 10 enterprises today across different uh, sectors like out of home, connected television, linear television, programmatic identities. Uh, the thing is, everybody knows, as I said, uh, pre-cookie pre and post-cookie. So this mm -hmm. next 18 months is extremely critical for mm -hmm. uh, engagement uh, if we have to be in this business right now. So we are engaging with them at the, at the core in terms of building the new infrastructure. And uh, uh, we're running more than five, six trials today. So that's, that's what is keeping us busy. Very exciting. Well, I will leave the links to uh, those in the description box below. Thank you so much for the time, G-Man. All the best with Achilles moving forward. And let's follow up in the near future. Absolutely. Thank you. Thanks, Ashton. Pleasure talking to you.